And they did furn. They. Oh, wait a second. Who could that be? Somebody's calling me. Hello. 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 Samuel. Hello. Samuel. Uh, this is Sam. This is Kathy. Oh, Kathy, uh, uh, Catherine Harris. Yeah, call me Kathy. Okay, Kathy. Um, uh, gosh, it's been a while. How are you? I am so, I'm over the moon, Sam. It has been a whirlwind. I have been traveling and traveling. I've been to London. I've been to Houston's Reliance Stadium. I've been to to the Midwest. I've been to Wisconsin. I'm breathless. Oh, also, I've been, been to Sandals Resort. <laughs> Wait, okay. Well, no, hold on for a second. Now, um, I thought, you know, I got to say, I thought you were going to say, like, I've been to London. I've been France. I've, I can see your underpants. Is where I've I seen you... somebody's underpants. Well, I want to hear all about that. But what were you doing? Wait, what were you doing in London? Well, I was joining the celebrations. The, I'm sorry, the celebrations? The celebrations in the streets for the celebrations of austerity, the people celebrating for more austerity from Brixton to Camden Town to Liverpool. Wait, I, I, more I, I, austerity. I'm not, I'm not. They know, love it. I'm sorry. I, I don't think that people are celebrating. They're celebrating like Mardi Gras. Now, there have been a few bad apples, but I'm afraid that might have been my fault because I was traveling with a photo of, of Mitch McConnell. I had a Mitch McConnell photo that I dropped in the street in Brixton, and then all of a sudden there was looting. Uh, oops! <laughs> okay, so wait a second. So you went to Britain to celebrate austerity with people in the streets? Yes, they um, love it. More, more, more. And do you know there's a new haircut cut, the austerity cut that me and Kathy Ann, Kathy Nicholas, my new BFF, she and I got austerity cuts. It's a lot like the Dorothy Hamill wedge. Do you remember the wedge, the Dorothy Hamill cut? It's so cute. It's wash and go, Sam. Wash and go. Kathy it's Nicholas, just, of course, is the, um, she is from, uh, she is like the. From the, Waukesha. From Waukesha County in Wisconsin, she's the one who keeps holding back the ballots on all these important races. Holding back? We call her St. Nicholas. Gifts just keep on coming. It's like Christmas every time Kathy St. Nicholas gets involved. She's a heck of a clerk and a wonderful gal. You know where I met her? No. Nitwit's Yarn Shop. We Nit love to knit. We, we met at a place called Nitwit's. It's a craft shop, and they have notions, and we make sweaters and 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 um, shrugs, which is the thing that just goes over your shoulders if you don't want to wear a full sweater. A shrug. But it's a shrug. But yeah, we met at Knitwits. You so you met you met Kathy Nicholas at Knitwits. Okay, so so that's why I presume were you in Wisconsin for this uh, recall vote? Yes, I've been. Oh my God, how many miles I have! I have so many points now. That's why I got to go to Sandals <laughs> Resort. It's so much fun. At Sam's, I'm breathless, Sam. Because also, I I want to talk about the new Apostolic Reformation movement at Reliant Stadium and the eight mountains. I know they only talk about seven mountains to conquer, but we have eight mountains of revival. And and spiritual and political living. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm confused. Now. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a second. You were in Houston. Was that for the Rick Perry concert? Yes. Oh. That will praise him. Praise him. It's a. You know, Sam. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of the. We're trying to roll back the theological enlightenment of the 18th century. You know the pro enlightenment clerics at the Sorbonne, of course, French, French. Well, you know the pro enlightenment clerics at the Sorbonne in the 18th century. Uh, they came to dominate the church's thinking. That's where all this progressive nonsense and uh, communism came from. From the pro 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 uh, enlightenment clerics at the Sorbonne. Yeah, so you can imagine the uh, the impact on Roman Catholicism and and that's the socialist Obamacare. As directly, <laughs> you can directly trace it back to the 18th century pro enlightenment clerics at the Sorbonne. 
Wait a second. So these people, they're responsible for both Obamacare and Roman yes. Catholicism. And the EPA. And the EPA. Yeah. Uh, okay, and so... And, uh, well, well, I, I have to ask you about this Rick Perry thing because, yeah. um, you know, Rick Perry, there's a lot of people who feel that he's going to jump into the race and that he is going to basically be uh, the number one competitor for um, uh, uh, for stealing votes from Michelle Bachman. And I, I thought you were in, in firmly... Michelle, my best, don't worry, Sam, don't worry. Where wherever Rick Perry goeth, Michelle, my bell does follow. You can put that in your pipe and smoke it. And you know who else I saw at Sandals Resort? Joseph the Plumber. He was at the resort. It was so much fun. We we had an adult hopscotch league, and it was so much fun. And you know, Marcus Bachman was there, and he had nightly showings of the movie Xanadu. He loves that movie, starring Olivia Newton John and Gene Kelly. Xanadu. Wait a second. So you're in sandals with uh, Joseph the with Plumber? Joseph the Plumber and, and Marcus Bob. What, what, what are you doing at sandals? I, I guess maybe I have a wrong perception of what They're super part of a super pack, and we just go and have some fun, and we try and roll back the theological enlightenment. It's a lot. It's so much fun. But, Sam, I want to talk about the eight, eight mountains from the Reliance Stadium, the response. The eight mountains. What, what that are the we eight ma- mount- You have to help me out here because I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent up on this. What are, for what the are, apostolic refers- rep? I'm sorry. I'm so excited. The apostolic reformation movement. We have the eight mountains. Number one, we have to attack the mountain of government, media, arts and entertainment, Jesus' entrance strategy. We want to pray that God can get at our toughest stains. We want to pray for rain. We want to attack the Jezebel movement, uh, the harlot movement, Oprah, um, and you know, the, you've heard of the Is Gorgon, this? the three-headed she-beast, the <laughs> Gorgon. Wait, is this all mountain number one? That's a Mountain, lot of no, 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 no. I just named you eight, and then eight dash B restless leg syndrome. <laughs> well, there's actually now medication for that. But wait a second, what's the Dorgon? Yeah, but the side effects in- increase gambling. That's a dangerous one. <laughs> one of the side effects of Avacor for restless leg is increased gambling I and weight gain. And Marcus is very upset about that because he, he he always says a moment on the lips, forever on the hips, and. He he's just very concerned about his weight, and you know, he when he was showing Xanadu at Sandals, yeah. he felt very uncomfortable because he couldn't wear his resort wear collection of of shorts and fun tops that he had. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Wait, I want to back up. What is? Yeah. Door door gun. Back it up. What is? Door- just like the clerics from the Sorbonne, we got back it up. Yes, Sam, go ahead. What? What is door gun? The Gorgon, the three-headed she-beast. Oh, I, I, and what is that? Remember Medusa? Well, similarly, the Gorgon is Oprah, Nancy Grace, and Juliana Dupani, nay, Rancic from E. <laughs> That's the e Gorgon? I didn't... The Gorgon. I, I, Don't you read? I, 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 I do read. I don't, where would I found that in print? The Gorgon mythological. Sam, I don't have the time. I don't have this kind of time to talk to you about these things. I can't give you education, Gorgon 101. We have to talk about how Jesus hates the EPA. He hates collective bargaining. Well, I, I want to. I'd like you know. We only have a, we only have a minute uh, or so left here. What I really yeah. would love to talk to you about is just to get a preview of what 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 you expect to see tonight uh, in the uh, Republican uh, primary uh, 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 debate. The straw poll? No, that's Saturday. Tonight what is a you... Republican primary debate. Were you not aware of that? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. I've been so busy flying. What are you talking about? Well, there's a Republican primary debate tonight. I mean, let me... Uh, GOP oh, my goodness. Where is my head? Kathy Ann! Kathy, do you know about this? It's, it, it is... It she's, is. she's nodding. Oh, you know what, Sam? I forgot. I'm so excited. You know what else happened? You know the... 
that the idea that that the Obama administration is going to go after Mitt Romney for being weird. Yeah. Yes, who started that rumor? Who who did? Kathy Ann. Yeah. <laughs> she she whispered it to Howard Feynman. You know how Howard Feynman uh, all his information comes from someone he spoke to on the hill. Right. Yes. Guess who spoke to him on the hill? You, he doesn't know who's who. It was Kathy Ann. Kathy Ann, like you. Kathy Ann, Kathy St. Nicholas. Oh, Kathy Ann. Oh. So wait, but she's from Wisconsin. What's she doing on the hill? She was shouting and whispering, and Howard Feynman, who just likes to get his information from hearsay, as you know. <laughs> so we told him that the Obama administration was going to accuse uh, 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 Romney of being weird and that they were going to, quote, unquote, kill him, and the media went insane. <laughs> So, that was so now, as you know, the Obama administration is going to back way off that. It works like a charm, Sam. These people are so predictable. Wow. Yeah, I had no idea. I'm sorry, I need a paper bag. I'm hyperventilating of joy. Uh, but aren't you in any way, um, I, I didn't, you're not a pro-Romney uh, gal, are you? Or, or, no! Oh. But with anything to divert the attention, it's just fu- it's just a fun game. You just tell the media of what the Democrats are going to do from an unnamed source that spoke to Howard Feynman, and he repeats it, and then it goes on from there. <laughs> it's like a golden shower, showers of gold raining down on our faces from on high, from Alec. And the Koch brothers, showers of gold, just golden showers. That's trickle down for you. No, I. That's understand. trickle down, yes. maybe at its finest. Well, um, uh, Catherine Harris, I want to thank you for almost previewing uh, tonight's uh, Republican debate for us. Uh, I hope we can talk to you uh, soon, just to give us. Where are the debates? That you're, what are you talking about? I, 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 I'm not. I'm not even sure. I think they. Uh, you might be misinformed because when I saw Joseph the plumber at Sandals, he didn't say anything. And when I was at the Joyathon in London and Camden and Brixton and Liverpool, no one said anything about this. They were just praising David Cameron and saying, please, sir, more austerity. We love it. I don't, I, you know, I'm not even sure where this debate is, for gosh sakes. Um, I, I, I don't think there is one. No, I I, I'm it. pretty sure it is. Uh, you know, I know Huntsman's going to be in this debate for the first time. And who? John Huntsman. I don't know who that is. <laughs> He's running for president for the Republicans, but I guess you probably wouldn't have heard of him. He's I not. don't know who that is. Well, but- uh, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I've actually, I've got to go. Uh, but uh, Catherine Harris, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. When can we talk again? Well, very soon. I would love to. Uh, okay, call uh, me. Okay, I'll we'll call you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Uh, wow. Uh, Catherine Harris.